What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. A lot of people seem to be pretty confused about how the vault Tech Workshop works and how everything goes together. And to be honest, I'm not surprised because it is pretty damn confusing. So in this video, I hope to clear up that confusion. I'll be showing you firstly, how to power the lighting in your vault without using any wiring so it all looks really neat and smart. Secondly, I'll be showing you how to fit multiple different room types together because it seems like lots of people have been having issues on how things snap together and connect together correctly and there is an easy way of doing that. And thirdly, I'm going to show you how to build an atrium. So let's start with how we can power our whole vault first. As you can see, I've cleared the whole area and I'm standing in the middle of the room. You can place a generator literally anywhere in this room and it will power the whole thing. All you need to do is go to power generators and then find the Volt Tech reactor. You can also use the Volt Tech super reactor. The only difference is it has much more power. And to be honest, you might use up all this power, but if you can't build it, just build four of these next to each other. But just to demonstrate how far this thing goes, I'm going to build this here. And the way this works, you don't need to wire this um, generator to anything at all. The power is instead transmitted through the floor tiles. So what we need to do is go to structure and then go to vault. And then if we go to atrium, we can use the floor tiles just here. So just extend this floor in literally any direction. You can zigzag it, you can, okay, it actually has to snap on though. But just to extend this floor to any direction you want. And as you can see, it's pretty far away now, but we can keep on going. And then what I'm going to do is just build a wall to demonstrate how this works. So let's build quite a long wall down here. And we can actually just build another panel here as well, just, just to show this off. So the next thing we need, obviously, for light is lights. So let's go to our lights and we can just put a few random lights, just scatter them around anywhere you like. Uh, it doesn't really matter what type of lights you use, put some traffic lights there because that's always useful in the vaults. You never know when you need to direct traffic. Okay, so I'm just putting random lights around. You can put floor lights about, it doesn't make a difference at all. You can have standing lights. Okay, so all we need to do to power all these lights, they're al they've already got power from that generator all the way over there. But to actually activate them, you need to go to switches. And this is what a lot of people, a lot of people don't know, I think. So go to your switches. And if you go right to the end, you'll find the volt power conduit. So basically, you just put this on the wall, literally anywhere, and suddenly all these lights have power. Those lights don't have power though, because they're too far away. So we can put another one of these there. And wherever you put one of these conduits, that will power everything near it. So as long as you have a few of these dotted around your vault and they're all connected by, by the floor to the generator, then all your lights will be on. Of course, you can build up floors and it works in the exact same way. Let me just quickly show you that. So as you can see, these lights are already turning on because we put the conduit down there on those lights there. And these are upstairs, so as long as it's anywhere near these conduits, they will extend all the way up there and power the lights, as long as it's all connected to the same floor panels and obviously staircase and whatever is connected to this generator and that's how that works guys. So the second thing we're going to talk about is how to connect different types of rooms together. And this is one of those things where it's really simple, but until anyone explains it to you, it's really, really confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, which is where you first enter the vault. What we're going to want to do now is obviously go to structure and then vault. And then we have lots of different types of vault rooms. We have vault domestic, vault utility, and then we have vault rooms. And this is basically all the different types of rooms are in here. So caf cafeteria, clinic, nursery, overseer, quarters, security. Oh, that was a mouthful. Okay, so we're gonna say, for example, get the utility one and we can just extend this corridor as far as we like. But what we can't do 
if, if you go to vault rooms we can't connect this onto this it doesn't fit together like that's that's not going to work so what we need to do now is we need to go to back to vault utility and right at the end you'll find something called a, a doorway end cap each category has one of these and it's always located at the very end of that category so if you go right here you'll be able to connect that onto the end of this entrance what we can then do is we can go to another type of vault, so vault domestic, and then we can go to the doorway, which there's lots of different types of doorways. So for example, this is a hall to doorway. So this will connect now to the other type of vault. Or we can use this, which is lots of different doorways that go off the same room. Or we can use this which is just a prefab doorway as long as as long as you have a piece that has a doorway it will connect to this piece and that's how you connect two different types of rooms together so now I can extend this I can build out this way if I like I can build out the other way but one thing I can't do is I can't if I go to vault rooms it won't let me put this on the end that won't snap together if I want to connect vault rooms together I've got to delete this So now what we've got to do is you've got to go to vault rooms instead and then we've got to go to for example the clinic which has a door so I'm gonna to go to the clinic I'm gonna get the door module and this is going to connect onto this door module and then we can extend the clinic if we like to make it bigger and this is how you connect it to a clinic but what you'll find is that these different rooms actually connected to one another so for example I could have extend a nursery area here I can put the floor modules, they'll connect to the clinic as well. I can have the overseer section. So if you like, you can have like, you know, your window there. You've got the overseer window. You can make sort of a checkered pattern if you like flooring. All of the room modules connect together. But what you can't do is go to, for example, now Vault Domestic. That won't connect to the room modules and so on. So you have to make sure that these three individual room types are connected together in the right way. Another thing that you connect, can connect, which I'll show you in a moment after I remove these things, is the wide hallway. So you'll find a door module just here, and this will connect to that door module. And then we can extend our hallways out even further if you like. And these these are pretty cool in my opinion. I quite like these sort of the look of this industrial sort of section. And you might be wondering, well, ESO, how can I put a door here? Well, that's very easy. All you need to do is go to Vault and then go to Doors, and then you can just put one in here. And the same goes for any window openings you have. You can put that in there, or there's even different window types and a circle one for the overseer window as well. But to open the door, go out of workshop and just press A on it and there you go. You now have an open and closed door into your vault. Now we need to talk about the atrium because that is another kettle of fish. So what we're going to need to do for this is get the atrium parts and if, if we go to the prefab end, we can connect this onto that section. Now don't worry about these gaps because we'll sort that out later. But these things are very tall and they're a little bit awkward to figure out so let me show you how we can do this we can get a ceiling module and this is how we extend it lengthways so just connect that on and it will snap right to it and this is how we make a ceiling i'm just going to keep it this wide and then i'm going to go and get another atrium end and connect that on this bit here and as you can see like it's starting to take form now Actually, I've got the wrong one there. So grab that and swap that over with this one. There we go. And we can put another atrium end on this side. Like so. And another one on this side. And we can even put one on this side. We can extend it infinitely in both directions, if you wish. If I want to extend this piece of roof further that direction so I have like a wider atrium the game won't let you do that 
you can't connect anything to this section here to like extend the size of this roof which is actually really annoying instead you have to have these kind of areas where it's just this upside down u shape and you can the only way you can extend continuously is to do that thing i just showed you with the roof you can make the roof smaller though it will let you sort of cross over paths a bit but it doesn't work out very well so i probably wouldn't do that if i was you right so you end up with these sort of squares here and there are different things you can put in this square you can either put windows in there and there's this really nice sort of vault tech like window and you can have windows stretching up the side there and I think that looks pretty cool to be honest or alternatively you can have we've got these really big sections so you can have doors going into the separate room and you can put a window up the top there if you like um, and you can also have windows going along the outside here you can move that across and then you can have windows up there and just fill in this section here with something else it can be a bit awkward and fiddly when you're trying to figure out how these parts go together but you do get used to it so let's go to the staircase and so if we attach this one here that can attach to the end there and we can start building outwards from this this section by using these pieces here and that can just go wherever you want it to you can have another piece here maybe it's a bit broken who cares um, and we can then have our staircase which of course goes downwards here and then you can get a whole staircase area which is pretty awesome maybe you don't want this here maybe you just want a railing at the end you can sort that out as well you can have railings going on the side here then you can even have voids that look down below you can do whatever you want here i mean it's really up to you and then we've also got some supports as well and this is more just sort of structure so you can build things up and then you can have some like upstairs section that looks like it's being supported by this structure here so it looks a little bit more realistic but basically that's all this is for and you can connect bits together and so on it's relatively simple Anyway guys, I do hope you found this video helpful. I really just wanted to spread the message because I'm still getting a lot of comments asking about this kind of stuff. But if it did help you, please do give the video a like. That lets me know that you enjoyed it and you want to see more like it. I've put some other useful videos in the description. They're generally just tips and tricks to do with this vault Tech DLC. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. My name is ESO and I will see you, Laurel subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video. Thanks again for watching and have a lovely time building your vault.